A prime ape used Rage Fist 20 times in a row. This is what happened to his heart. AA is a level 40 prime ape presenting to the Pokemon Center enraged and without a pulse. His trainer tells the admitting nurse that after using up all 10 of her prime ape's power points for the move Rage Fist, she gave him an ether, a type of medicine introduced in Generation 1 that restores 10 PP for one of a Pokemon's moves. This allowed the prime ape to continue using this move beyond its natural limits. You see, this prime ape's trainer wasn't just any Pokemon trainer. She was a champion level trainer, determined to fill the entire Paldean Pokédex and then some, and she would do anything to achieve that. One day, while out exploring Paldea, catching more Pokémon, she happened upon a young Mankey. Ma from Latin mal, meaning bad, or mad, and key from monkey and cranky, a mad cranky monkey. Mankey. Upon catching it, she began training it in order to get it to evolve, but there was a problem. Mankeys are notoriously aggressive. According to the Pokédex, Mankey are extremely quick to anger. It could be docile one moment, then thrashing away the next instant. When it starts shaking and its nasal breathing turns rough, it's a sure sign of anger. However, since this happens instantly, there is no time to flee. Nothing I can't handle, the trainer thought, and very typical behavior for a monkey Pokémon. Mankeys pull in various elements from a number of monkeys, from Japanese macaques to baboons and snub-nosed monkeys, but the trait they all share is their temperament. Quick to anger when things don't go their way. All to be expected, she thought, and she began his training to make it reach level 28 and evolve into a primate. Ape from ape, and prime from the Latin primus, meaning first, or original, the pinnacle, the best, the best ape, prime ape, the primate. Prime ape as an evolution to Mankey makes sense. The idea that apes are more evolved monkeys may be a wrong one, but like Vikings having horned helmets, it is a common enough misconception that it works here for a Pokemon design. But upon this evolution, the anger contained within its relatively small body expands exponentially, to the point where it is all that it knows. Always furious and tenacious to boot, it will not abandon chasing its quarry until it is caught. It becomes wildly furious if it even senses someone looking at it. If you beat it, it will get even madder. When Primeape becomes furious, its blood circulation is boosted. In turn, its muscles are made even stronger. However, it also becomes much less intelligent at the same time. Like all emotions, anger is a chemical reaction happening inside the body as hormones are released. In this case, when anger is triggered, it sends a signal to the gonads and adrenal glands to produce more testosterone, cortisol, and adrenaline. In short, anger is inducing the body's fight or flight response in an attempt to survive whatever challenge or threat it's perceiving. And this gives you the burst of energy and muscle efficiency you need to run away from a threat or to fight back against it. And in the case of a primate, it always chooses violence. When this happens, the primate's blood vessels tighten to increase the efficiency of oxygen delivery through its veins, and the brain shunts blood away from the gut and towards the muscles in preparation for physical exertion. Its heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration increase, its body temperature rises, and the skin perspires in preparation for the violence. Blood is also more rapidly sent to the sensory organs and the brain, which will sharpen and focus the mind. But if this is the the case, then why do primate and people for that matter tend to become or act much less intelligent when angered? Multiple psychological studies have shown that people process information less thoroughly and judge others more harshly when they are angry, causing us to behave in ways that only perpetuate anger instead of addressing its cause. You see, it's all about what part of the brain the sharpening effect happens to. One study found that when in a heightened state of rage, brain activity in the front of the brain and the entire right hemisphere is reduced, while various parts of the left hemisphere see heightened activity. In short, the parts of the brain that are more focused on movement, reflexes, and short-sightedness are more focused on. This is a part of why professional fighters often report feeling especially clear-headed when in the ring, when here there is nothing else to think about besides their own body and their opponents. And that is all thanks to anger. But despite its short-term benefits, recurring anger or a lingering frustration in the long term leads to many health detriments. The constant flood of stress chemicals and the many metabolic changes associated with unmanaged anger can eventually cause harm to many different systems of the body, and have been linked to digestion problems, headache, insomnia, eczema, 
high blood pressure, heart attacks, stroke, and death. This phenomenon can also be seen in one of Primeape's Pokedex entries. It has been known to become so angry that it dies as a result. Its face looks peaceful in death, however. One day, while in class, the trainer heard about a unique Paldean evolution to Primeape, but the class was cut short before a full explanation was given. But she had a hunch. This evolution had to have something to do with Primate's natural buildup of rage, she thought. Determined to get this unique evolution and complete the Pokedex, she had her Primate learn the move Rage Fist, a ghost-type move where the user converts its rage into energy to attack. The more times the user has been hit by attacks, the greater the move's power, as it continually increases the overall anger. Being hit, especially in the context of a fight, is a surefire way to increase someone's rage as well. When hit, the affected nerves send a pain signal to the brain to alert it to the presence of potential damage and to get a dose of endorphins to the area in response. But endorphins are a pain reliever, and they tend to have a positive effect on the mood. Why would this make a primate more furious? Well, because endorphins only tend to have that positive effect on mood when in a non-rage-like state. When a heightened amount of adrenaline is already in the body, the hypothalamus in the brain may misread the endorphin cue, and rather than help alleviate the anger or anxiety, it makes them much, much worse. A primate being hit repeatedly is clearly not getting its way in the fight, which will only make it angrier and each hit will make its signature move Rage Fist all the more powerful as it concentrates its rage into tighter and tighter balls of energy in its fists. And this is precisely what this primate was doing. It used Rage Fist over and over until it was physically incapable of continuing with the move. It had run out of power points. No big deal, the trainer thought. I'll give it an ether so we can keep going. But a few ethers in, the primate was no longer responding to its name, and its fur became pale and in a mess unlike it had ever been before. Concerned about this, the trainer went to check on the primate up close and noticed there was no pulse. So the trainer rushed it to the Pokémon Center, where we are now. The admitting nurse checked primate's pulse and confirmed the fear. There was no pulse. There was no breathing either, and yet, the primate was seemingly still able to stand and had some motions akin to breathing. By all accounts, it should have been dead, and yet, it wasn't. But it was. And what could have caused this? While training, this primate was seldom hit, quite the opposite. It was taking out Pokémon after Pokémon in one fell swoop thanks to its high speed and attack. The only thing that was changing about its state was its ever-building rage. But can anger on its own truly be deadly? According to the American Heart Association, yes. Death by angry outburst is a known phenomenon. People often get angry for many reasons, most commonly when they don't have any control over a situation, like being stuck in traffic. This anger releases the hormones we've talked about, and this raises blood pressure and heart rate. And in someone with an aged heart or heart disease, this can easily lead to a heart attack and prove fatal. According to Professor of Medicine Dr. Diwakar Jain, in healthy people, the heart can withstand a lot of abuse, but when the heart is fragile, anger stands out as the primary cause of sudden death. All of the exercise Primeape gets through combat would certainly mean that its heart is healthy, but at the same time, a constant state of irritation and anger is specifically detrimental to the heart and blood vessels almost making Primeape's heart like a bomb attached to a scale. It's all a matter of balancing out the benefits of exercise with the detriments of constant anger. And in the case of our trainer's Primeape, the scales were pushed too far. As the nurse explains this to the trainer, the trainer gets a hunch. The new look on Primeape's face, the hairdo, the ability to still walk around despite not breathing or having a pulse, this wasn't a Primeape any longer, no. It had indeed evolved. She brings out her Pokedex to confirm her suspicion, and lo and behold, her Primeape had evolved into an Annihilate. According to the Pokedex, when its anger rose beyond a critical point, this Pokémon gained power that is unfettered by the limits of its physical body. It imbues its fists with the power of the rage that it kept hidden in its heart. 
Opponents struck by these imbued fists will be shattered to their core. Like all emotions, anger is a balance of hormones, and as such there is a theoretical maximum to what our emotions are capable of due simply to us having physical bodies with only so much potential within them. But a ghost? A ghost has no such limitation. A ghost can even be a spirit of raw emotion in and of itself, which is the case with the now fighting ghost type, annihilate ape, from the Old English apa, meaning ape or monkey, and annihilate, which itself comes both from the Latin nihil, meaning nothing, and ad, meaning to or to make, to make something into nothing, annihilate, add in ape, annihil ape. On top of being an angry ape, annihilates pull from a few other sources, the most obvious being the entire concept of vengeful spirits. Spirits so upset and angered by something or someone who wronged them in life that they cannot pass on after death, and so stick around as ghosts seeking revenge. A common one is the Japanese onryo, which are often depicted with long tendril-like hair or flayed cloth, akin to Annihilate's new hairdo. But being found in Paldea, a region based on the Iberian Peninsula, there may be a reference to the Basahuan from Basque mythology, these being essentially huge, round, hairy, ape-like Neanderthal cryptid men known for their brute strength and beards that go down to their knees. A combination of these two things fits well as a new evolution to Primeape. So thankfully, in the end, there was never truly anything for the trainer to worry about, as her Primeape evolved and managed to make a full recovery as an Annihilate. Stay healthy out there, and be sure to always be aware of your anger levels, and never stop using your noggin. Oh, hello. My name is Richard, and I am here to tell you about today's sponsor, for they are literally the greatest thing I have ever experienced. And it has to do with the latest addition to my wardrobe. Just take a peek at my pecker. Yes, mwah, I am in sheath's latest underwear. I'll never be able to wear anything else again. I mean, look at this. There's a hole just for me, Richard, and even a pocket for me to store my eggs and family jewels and all that jazz. These boxer briefs are made out of high quality stretchy moisture wicking material that keeps the heat of each piece of meat away from each other. It keeps everything cool and comfortable without sticking together. No, it honestly sounds like it would be uncomfortable to have all your business folded around in individual compartments, but no, you don't understand. I am a whole new man. You could call me Johnson. And oh, it's a godsend in the warmer months. The colder ones too, when you're bundled up roasting some nuts by the fire. Or the opposite, being active or hard at work. They keep everything in place. Okay, but seriously, real talk, go to sheathunderwear.com and use the promo code LOXTON to get 20% off of the most comfortable underwear I have ever had. Like, just hands down. Ouch. It's nuts. And you can store your nuts in them too.